Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com. In my video today, I just want to show you uh, kind of a subject that came up actually on our forum recently. And I just want to show you how to patch. When you get some uh, goof ups around switch boxes or electrical boxes uh, that you need to, to fill in. So we've got a couple different examples here. Uh, one is pretty minor. In most cases, a lot of times your cover and everything that you put on here would likely cover this, but it's borderline, right? Yet it's not a real huge gap. Something simple like that, generally all I would do is just take a little bit of your drywall mud when you're mudding and just force it back into that gap to kind of fill it in like so. Now when you do a thicker blob like that it's going to shrink a fair bit so on your next coats just remember to have a look at that and give it another little uh, fill in when you're when you're mudding and then obviously just sand it smooth when you're sanding. Uh, something like this that's just that's a little bit bigger than you can really just typically <clears throat> use some mud to fill. So what you're going to want to do there is you're going to have to actually apply a bit of tape to, to fix that area and then later once you're all mudded and everything you're going to just have to go out and recut out those areas where the electrical is. So kind of the same same principle here we still want to get some mud back in there and it's that's a little messy here. So you do want to force some mud back into that area and take up some of that void that's back there to start out with. Then like any tape you just want to get enough on there to uh, get your tape bedded. Tear off the bit of tape or mesh that you're going to use. Lay it across the area. Even if it hangs down into the box not a big deal. You can always trim that out uh, once you've got everything coated out and, and dried. Squeeze out the the excess mud that you had there, just like anything that you'd be taping. And now you've you've at least created a backer there and you can, as every other step when you're doing all the rest of the mudding in your, uh, in your project, you just come back and add a bit of mud to that, feathering it out so it's, uh, you know, not a big huge issue. So if that was dry and I was coming back to do my next coat, Again, I just want to start a little bit wider and just get some, some mud build up on it a little bit. Okay, so there would be kind of my next coat. My next one, basically I'm going to just go maybe a little bit wider, try to feather in these bottom corners, and it's probably covered good enough to do what you want to do. So just a, like I said, just a real quick video showing you how you can patch up some of those things because it's, it's not irregular that you maybe cut around a box and it's not quite right or you're half an inch off or something like that. So now if you got really huge, like maybe if somehow you went two inches or something, well, you're going to actually have to do a drywall plug or something there to, to fill that in. But anything that's about three quarters of an inch or less, so uh, one of these two methods will cover that for you. So that's perfect. Thanks a lot for watching. Click the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, maybe uh, come and check us out on Facebook and follow us or Twitter. And also, we always got Patreon that you can have a look at as well. Thanks for watching.